God, do I look like I'm in Oklahoma? Why would your play be set in Oklahoma? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 looks on Euphoria. I feel like I would look so sexy pregnant. Maddie, please do not get pregnant. I wouldn't wear any of those nasty maternity clothes. I would just be me, plus pregnant. For this list, we're looking at the most beautiful, memorable, and impactful fashion statements from seasons one and two of the HBO series. Which of these looks is ready to wear? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20. Rue's Maroon Hoodie and Alien T-Shirt We first see Rue's signature hoodie in the first few minutes of the pilot as she leaves rehab, but it's also worn in the same episode during a dramatic confrontation between the teen and her mother. Don't be talking to me like that! You know what? I'm gonna protest you! Don't be slamming no doors around here! It was an accident! We'll see a lot more of the item later in the season, but it takes on particular significance in the finale. In a flashback, we see Rue pick up the hoodie from her father's bed after his death. The fact that the garment is so entangled in her difficult experiences speaks volumes. It fittingly reappears in season two once the protagonist makes an effort to get sober. Undoubtedly, this simple piece of clothing illustrates the power of costumes in storytelling. So you want to get clean? Yeah. Number 19, Cassie's True Romance Halloween Costume. Is it too much? No. Absolutely not. Wow. Who doesn't love a Halloween episode? Euphoria Season 1 features a costume party that results in multiple memorable get-ups. We have to give credit to Cassie for her truly inspired take on a character from the 1993 crime film True Romance. When I think of you. Alabama Worley is portrayed by Patricia Arquette as a carefree blonde who falls madly in love and ends up in hot water. Although their arcs aren't exactly the same, Cassie's search for love certainly resonates with Alabama's journey. Oddly enough, the ensemble isn't all that far from Cassie's outgoing wardrobe in season two. Most importantly though, the bright blue and cow print outfit is a picture perfect recreation. Number 18, Lexi's Bob Ross look. I'm Bob Ross, the painter from PBS. Like we said, obviously this isn't the only memorable Halloween costume from season one. However, it just might be the funniest. The outfit's humor comes partly from Lexi's commitment and her unusual choice of reference. This must be weird. What? Like being a teenager, but not really being able to do teenager stuff. But also, the striking look brings about a recurring bit in the episode. To her chagrin, Lexi's friends don't even know who the PBS painter is, except for McKay. Yeah, Bob Ross. Bob Ross. That's funny. Thank you. Suze's reaction is even worse, since she argues that her daughter missed the entire point of the holiday. You do me a favor and you count how many girlfriends of yours are dressed up like 50-year-old men. Report back to me. In any case, we appreciate the Howard sisters' quirky take on evening wear. Plus, no one can deny that her facial hair is expertly done. Number 17, Kat's plaid fishnet outfit. While this is one of Kat's tamer looks, it marks the beginning of her style transformation and a personal turning point for Kat in her journey towards self-acceptance. At the beginning of the series, Kat wore more casual and reserved clothing. Whereas in this outfit, she chooses to wear a graphic t-shirt and plaid miniskirt paired with fishnet tights, black combat boots, and a black body harness. Her bold look is topped off with smoky eye makeup and red lipstick. This outfit showcases some of the key pieces that eventually become a part of Kat's signature, grungy, dominatrix-inspired look later on in the season. You look different. I changed. Number 16, Cassie's pink swimsuit. Do you think Nate's still coming over? Um, yeah, that's what Maddie says. Who knew a swimsuit could be such a meaningful piece of clothing? Maddie's birthday is a particularly painful occasion for Cassie, as she struggles with feeling like she's betrayed her BFF. Meanwhile, her crush on Nate can't be forgotten with the young man himself present. Somehow, Cassie's messy desires for love, attention, and friendship are all expressed in one outfit change. Nothing we can say will make you see. She certainly looks great in her hot pink bikini, but it's clear that she feels terrible. 
After getting wasted in a room by herself, she gets sick in the hot tub. Please, when I go to college, move with me, marry me, have my babies. <laughs> Although it may be a pretty suit, it marks one of Cassie's lowest moments. Number 15, Lexi's Mew Mew Dress. Lexi Howard's sense of style is clearly different from some of her peers. Why would you say that? What? What was I supposed to do? Not say anything. Maddie and Kat favor more flashy outfits and Rue dresses down, but Cassie's sister often sports preppy fashions. Her prim way of dressing is fitting since she takes on the more creative and intellectual role of playwright in season two. Lexi's revamped wardrobe is now filled with fun blouses, embroidered pieces, and short dresses. So, when she dons this Mew Mew dress in red plaid with a pretty white collar, it comes as no surprise. It made her think about her entire life. The price tag, however, is a different story. Number 14, Rue's Halloween costume. Wow. For Halloween, Rue dresses up as Marlena Dietrich's character, Mademoiselle Amie Jolie, in the 1930 film Morocco. Now let me just be real straight with you. You never been to rehab, Roy? She pairs a black tuxedo with a white button down and smoky, glittery eye makeup. The costume is perhaps a nod to Rue's sexuality and her budding relationship with Jules, since Morocco stunned its audience upon its release by showing a kiss between Marlena Dietrich's character and another woman. Although I joy in me, I have no joy in this contract tonight. What are you talking about? I don't know what that means. Too rash. The darkness and androgyny of Rue's costume also perfectly juxtaposed Jules' white and angelic Juliet Capulet costume. When the two are seen together, they make a striking pair. You know when you're with someone and things just aren't right, but you're afraid to ask because the answer might be worse than the feeling right now. Number 13, Jules's winter formal outfit. Jules looked as though she was shimmering on the winter formal dance floor thanks to her eye-catching outfit. Her blue-gray bralette, purple pants, and sheer green duster coat all seem to be made of a similar sheeny fabric that reflected light to create a look that's both edgy and ethereal. While this is one of Jules' most revealing looks, it's also one of her most masculine and contrasts the tennis skirts and pastel colors of her outfits from previous episodes. I feel like I'm at 100 but I can definitely get to 150. This outfit also highlights the fact that Jules' style has evolved throughout the show as she became more comfortable with herself. I want you to want to kiss me so bad that you don't even ask. Number 12, Maddie's Chanel-inspired suit. Do you think people are like 100% straight and like 100% gay? No, because obviously there's like bi people, asexual, pan. While Maddie has worn her fair share of two pieces throughout the series, this Chanel-inspired orange and blue set is one of her most memorable. Actuality is like a spectrum, you know? Yeah, totally. This nod to a classic designer highlights Maddie's interest in fashion and positions her as the show's most fashion-conscious character. From the complimentary colors to the bold gold buttons, this ensemble is at once both classy and provocative. It showcases Maddie's versatility and her ability to insert her own personality into every look. The matching cobalt blue graphic eyeliner brings the whole look together and emphasizes Maddie's dedication to curating her personal style. Number 11, Jules's beaded New Year's Eve look. Jules undergoes something of a fashion transformation from seasons one to two. In the first installment, Hunter Schaefer's character has long blonde tresses and often dresses in soft colors and feminine styles. Cut to Euphoria circa 2022, and Jules is rocking a short hairdo and a more subdued color palette. That doesn't mean she can't make a statement, though. I know, that's my fault. I'm no, I didn't mean that. it like that. I didn't mean it. No, but I mean, it's true. Like, my world got too small. It didn't feel good. In the premiere episode, she sports a gorgeous look made up of multiple layered pieces. The leotard and corset skirt are cute, but the stars of the outfit are Jules's sheer beaded halter top and unique choker. When did you relapse? Number 10, Samantha's Mugler gown. Wanting some extra cash, Maddie takes on a babysitting gig near the beginning of season two. While snooping around Samantha's pad, she decides to stage an impromptu fashion show in the spacious walk-in closet. Nearly all of the looks Maddie tries on are stunners. But if we had to pick one, it would have to be the black 1991 Mugler Kessler dress. I'm gonna love you, come rain or come shine. With a dramatic neckline and puff sleeves, the off-the-shoulder number is downright gorgeous. 
The closet sequence isn't just a feast for the eyes, though. It also captures Maddie's deep longing for a life of wealth and independence. Number 9. Jules's Multicolored Outfit Jules is certainly no stranger to psychedelic and avant-garde clothing. One of her most daring looks is her sheer technicolor matching cropped jacket and pants set that she wears during a dream sequence in which Jules and Rue burn Nate. Euphoria is no stranger to tackling the changing notions of gender and sexuality. By burning Nate, Rue and Jules are essentially destroying the representative of the oppressive male gaze. Therefore, Jules' decision to opt for a more masculine silhouette suggests her increasing comfort with dressing in accordance with her own desires rather than dressing to attract male attention. Number 8. Kat's Red Dominatrix Outfit This outfit showcases Kat in her ultimate form, bold, confident, and unapologetic. I spent my whole life afraid people were going to find out that I was fat. This form-fitting, fire-engine red ensemble paired with a black body harness is decidedly grungy and hints at Kat's dominatrix pastime. Most importantly, this outfit is clearly meant to catch the attention of onlookers. While at the beginning of the season, Kat was meek and shied away from flaunting her body, this outfit illustrates that she is now willing to accept herself. More than just being confident, Kat is now actively willing to be the center of attention. Thought you weren't from around here. I'm not. Number 7. Maddie's Carnival Outfit I don't see you. Why do you always do this to me? While Maddie is no stranger to provocative outfits, this purple two-piece ensemble is arguably one of her most revealing looks. From the tiny triangle bralette to the hip cutouts on her pants, this outfit was made to turn heads. Oh, it's the carnival. No, it's the chili cook-off. It's very important. I can't have you hanging out at the booth dressed like that. Yeah, well, maybe it'll sell better. Maddie asserts her body autonomy by refusing to apologize for showing skin. This outfit exemplifies Maddie's bold personality and, most importantly, her refusal to hide her true personality even in the face of Nate's conservative parents. Her daring outfit matches her unflinching confidence when she confronts Nate's family at the carnival and reprimands them for judging her appearance and clothing choices. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be here right now because I'm dressed like a hooker and none of you like me, but I just wanted to say congratulations. Maddie, get out of here. <laughs> Number 6. Cassie's Figure Skating Outfit Cassie's most extravagant outfit appears to her in a dream. While undergoing a surgical abortion, Cassie imagines herself figure skating in a bedazzled icy blue dress adorned with peacock feathers. The blue of the dress parallels the blue scrubs worn by the doctors performing the abortion, which highlights how Cassie is attempting to make the best of her current situation. The skating dress also acts as a reference to her youth and innocence because, as a young child, Cassie used to dream of being a figure skater. Everything from the color to the crystal details works together to create a sense of fantasy and escape. Number 5. Maddie's New Year's Eve Party Dress Euphoria Season 2's premiere was filled with attention-grabbing scenes. Hold on. No, just a minute. But when it comes to truly unforgettable moments from the episode, there's arguably only one contender. We're of course referring to Maddie pounding on the bathroom door as Nate and Cassie hide behind it. Screen caps of this moment quickly became internet fodder, searing the image of Maddie's dress into our minds. And we aren't mad about it. The all-black number with cutouts is practically red carpet worthy. You know who I am? Mm, I really don't, I promise. To boot, the garment perfectly meshes with the character's vampy style and edgy personality. Meanwhile, her lace-up heels add a touch of interest to the monochrome ensemble. No, check it out. Some girl like passed out of here. Who cares? You wanna dance? Number 4. Cassie's Oklahoma Outfit in this episode, Cassie's attempts to write her relationship with Nate take her into unexpected fashion territory. Wait, are you in the play? What play? Lexi's play. What do you mean, Lexi's play? In an unfortunate coincidence, she sports a blue gingham top with puff sleeves on the same day as school auditions for Oklahoma. Thanks to some harsh feedback from her peers, Cassie seems to clue in to her own desperation. I don't understand. If you're not auditioning for Oklahoma, then why do you look like that? Like what? Like a country music star. In a good way or a bad way. Bitch, you better be joking. Once the already fragile teen realizes she's practically dressed in costume, she has an emotional breakdown in front of Maddie. Plus, you guys are terrible for each other and you know I'm right and you guys can all judge me if you want, but I do not care. I have never, ever been happier. Okay, Cassie's dramatic confession only takes place in her head, but it's part of what makes her country music star look a truly iconic season 2 moment. Number 3. Maddie and Cassie's Matching Looks 
the beginning of season two sees Cassie vying for Nate's attention to cringe-inducing effect. Although we understand that she simply wants to be loved, the uneven relationship clearly spells trouble. In this episode, Cassie practically transforms into Nate's ex, all in an effort to mold herself according to his desires. The moment when Maddie herself confronts her doppelganger in the hallway is tense, to say the least. Wait, why are oh, you... my class is why then? Although they represent growing animosity between the BFFs, we just can't hate on these outfits. They're funny, sad, and chic all at once. Kind of like Euphoria itself. Number two, Jules's Halloween costume. Um, you smell like alcohol. Uh, I mean, it's Halloween, right? For Halloween, Jules pays homage to Baz Luhrmann's 1996 adaptation of Romeo and Juliet by donning white wings and a white dress to emulate Claire Dane's iconic rendition of Juliet Capulet. Tequila makes me want to dance. While the white, angelic nature of the costume evokes the illusion of innocence and purity, it also acts as a contrast to Jules's increasingly erratic behavior. Yo, ain't that your homegirl right there? party, she gets drunk and recites lines from Romeo and Juliet. In a sense, Jules's costume represents her transformation into a fallen angel. Furthermore, the reference to the Shakespearean play also foreshadows the seemingly doomed and star-crossed nature of Rue and Jules's relationship. Too unadvised, too sudden, too like the lightning which doth cease to be. Jules, you're drunk, okay? And you sound like an idiot. Can you please get out of the pool? One can say it light and sweet good night. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Maddie's Winter Formal Outfit Maddie's bold personality dictates that she's always the center of attention. This is best exemplified during East Highland's winter formal. Maddie's Swarovski crystal-covered halterneck two-piece sparkles amidst the dance's hazy, atmospheric lighting. Her outfit ensures that she glistens from every angle, and most importantly, that she captures Nate's attention. Her dance-off with Nate is presented as a battle of sorts, so it makes sense that her ensemble is chainmail-inspired. Chainmail is a material typically used for armor, and here it suggests that while Maddie is provocative and hyper-feminine, she's also resilient and capable of fighting for what she wants. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.